whether you like it or not, there are people out there who are younger than you and they're leaving you in the dust. I don't say this to make you feel bad about yourself. I say this to give you a reference point to know where you truly are in this competition. Now, you may not see life as a competition, but by... For, oh, f right. As you start to slowly improve, you start to take going to the gym more seriously. You start to take your finances more seriously. You will make progress and you will quickly see that a lot of your friends, you will start to do better than them. Maybe marginally, but you'll start to, you know, you may, now you're making a little bit more money than them. Now you are looking a bit better because you're going to the gym and you can very quickly get an ego. And that is what I did. I did for a while. But what you have to understand is that, bro, you're comparing yourself to a very small amount of people. Let's say you compare yourself to everyone in your school. There's not that many people in your school. You're referring your life and your experiences to a very small number of people. It's just not how, like your school isn't, isn't an accurate representation of the entire world. So how can you really base these judgments you have in your head off of it? Right, and I started to see this myself where I started going to the gym, I started making more money. I was like, Yo, I'm doing well, but there's always someone who is younger than you and is doing what you want to do basically, but they're doing it better. There always is, no matter what it is, like it, it just this isn't everything. You see this all the time. You you go up a level and then, like, Oh, this guy's he's on the next level and he's younger than me and he's like just doing it. And you know what, that can make you feel pretty. shit quite fast like you can feel really bad about yourself but you can't see it like that guys when you get into improving yourself the first thing you have to do is you have to have the right mindset going into this yeah there are going to be people who are storming past you they're just in the zone they're progressing and they're leaving you in the dust and that's okay that's not that's not end of the world that happens okay they say you shouldn't compare yourself to others. I say you should to the extent where you can use others as motivation. You see, you can see other people who are doing better than you, right? In two ways. Either A, you see it as, oh my God, this guy, he's he's doing better than me in everything. I'm just not going to do anything. I'm just going to stay demotivated. and I'm just going to go resort to instant gratification. I want to go play video games for four hours. I want to go watch Netflix and eat junk food because that feels nice. That's the first option, and a lot of people would do that, but that's not really what you want to do, right? What you want to do is you want to do option B. Option B is you see these people, and you're like, damn, well done, man. You've actually got into a great position. Fair play. I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. I'm going to do everything I can to catch up. Put in the work, and you use it as drive. You use it as drive to propel yourself. Because you can still be ahead of the majority, but there's going to be a minority who is better than you. And that's always going to happen. And unless you can see it in a positive way to help you push forward, you're always going to feel pissed off. You see, this is why millionaires, this is why millionaires aren't satisfied. A lot of them who are really rich, they're still not content with their lives. Why is that? Well, they're making tons of money. But remember, there's always someone who's making more money than you. Unless you're Elon Musk, which you're not, so unlucky, mate. There's always somebody who has got more money than you. And they buy these new cars and then they realise, oh, someone else has got a better car than me. I need to make more I need to make more money so I can go get a better car than them. Because they're basing their entire pride and ego off of the accomplishments of other people. You see, that's when it's flawed. It can help you get to that spot of being a millionaire, for example, but you have to make sure that it doesn't control your life. Then you have to take the brakes off of it and be like, okay, I'm in a good spot. Of course, there are people who have got more money than me still who look better than me. That's just bound to happen. But bro, like, it's not deep. Like, if you're not the very, very best at everything in life, it's not deep. Like, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, no one, nobody really cares. You shouldn't either. You should really just be focusing on enjoying it by that point. If you've gotten to that level, by that point, just do what you want. Who cares if you are the best or not? Because like I, at the end of the day, bro, we all do die. So you know what? You should take every advantage you get. And other people who are pushing forward, bro, if you use 
their drive and you take their drive and you you use that as power to push forward mate you, you're probably going to get a lot further than if you just use self-motivation right competition competition can make you push yourself further than you think you could but it's also about knowing when to turn the brakes off but turning the brakes off that comes way later that that i mean if you're watching this video you probably don't need to turn the brakes off you probably have a long way to go right including me like i uh, like 20 years like 10 years maybe i turn the brakes off you know i stopped caring but for now if you do care you can push forward and you can drive further see you guys